Hello students, today we will do the concept of finding last two places and unit place. If you analyze last year CAT papers, you will find many questions based on this concept. Before starting, let's have overview of the session. First of all, we will do advanced questions on unit place. Then we will do basics of finding last two places. Then we will learn shortcuts to find last two places. Then there will be some typical questions. Then you will have practice questions and their answer key. So let us start. First of all, an advanced question based on unit place. See, it says find unit place of 7 raised to power 44 raised to power 43. 7 raised to power 44 raised to power 43. We want to find last place, I mean unit place of this number. As we know, in case of unit place, what is the cyclicity of 7? That is 7, 9, 3, 1. I mean cyclicity of 4. So what is the logic here? We will take the power which is 44 raised to power 43. We will divide the power by the cyclicity which is 4 in this case. Now what is the remainder we are getting? Remainder in this case is 0. It means our power is exactly divisible by the cyclicity that is 4. So in that case, Whenever we get a remainder of 0, we will take the last number of the cyclicity. Now, what was the cyclicity here? What was the cycle here? It was 7, 9, 3, 1. So, what is the last place of this? It will be 1 in this case. So, that is the answer. Now, let us move to next question. Again, a question on unit place. Find unit place of 3 raised to power 43 raised to power 43. So let us see 3 raised to power 43 raised to power 43. Again, we will write the cycle for 3 in case of unit place. As we know, the cycle is 3, 9, 7 and 1. So what is the cyclicity here? Cyclicity is 4 here once again. So again, the same logic we will apply. We will take this power, which is 43 raised to power 43. We will divide it by the cyclicity, which is 4 in this case, and we will find the remainder. Now, as we know, 43 when divided by 4, what is the negative remainder here? This is minus 1. So it comes out to be minus 1 raised to power 43, and we are dividing it by 4. Now we have minus 1 raised to power odd. We know whenever we have minus 1 raised to power odd, we will get minus 1 once again. So what is the remainder I am getting? That is minus 1. To make it positive, what is the logic? We will take the divisor, which is 4 in this case. We will add up the divisor. So we are getting 3 as the remainder. So what is the next step now? We will take the cycle, which is 3, 9, 7, 1. Now coming to this 3, which was the remainder? It does not mean that this 3 is the answer. It means third place of the cycle will be the answer. So let us count. That is the first place. That is the second place. That is the third place. And that is the fourth place. And we want third place. So what is the answer in this case? It will be 7. Now let us move further. You can see some shortcuts for finding last two places. These are the shortcuts. The very first thing is whenever you have 2 raised to power 10 into even number it will always end in 76 for example if you have say 2 raised to power 20 of course 20 can be written as 10 into 2 and all of you know that 2 is an even number so definitely 2 raised to power 20 which will be a huge number it will always end in 76 that is our first shortcut now come to the second shortcut. Let us say we have 2 raised to power 30. Since 2 raised to power 30 can be written as 2 raised to power 10 into 3. Where 3 is an odd number. So this number will always end in 24. Now come to the third shortcut. Here my number is ending in 1. Suppose let us take a random number say 71. And we want to have the power 56. We want to find last two places of 71 raised to power 56. Now, 
as you know, one will always be the unit place because one raised to power anything is one always. Now, what is the shortcut here? To find the second last place, we will take this seven. I mean the number before one and the last place of the power. I mean six here. So what is seven into six? That is 42. So what will be the last second last place? It will be two. So 71 raised to power 56 that will end in 21. Now come to the fourth shortcut. If my number is ending in five, see I am taking 95. So 95 raised to power 19. Now the number is ending in five and before five we have an odd number and in the power also we have an odd number. So whenever you have odd number at these two places, answer will always be 75. I mean, my number will end in 75. Otherwise, let us take one more example. Let us say the number be 65 raised to power 19. Of course, the unit place will be 5. Before 5, we have an even number. And in the power, we have an odd number. So that is the otherwise category. So what will be the answer in this case? It will be 25. So these were the shortcuts. Let's do the application now. That is the first question based on last two places. We want to calculate last two places of 88 raised to power 76. So let us see. Now the number is 88 raised to power 76. First of all, we will identify which shortcut to use. Of course, you can see 88 is an even number and we have only one shortcut for even number that is 2 raised to power something. So, we will break 88 into two parts that is 8 into 11. Now, this 8 can be written as 2 cube raised to power 76 and 11 raised to power 76. So, it comes out to be 2 raised to power 228 into 11 raised to power 76. Now 2 raised to power 228. We know two shortcuts to find 2 raised to power something. One is 2 raised to power 10 into even number and the second one is 2 raised to power 10 into odd number. So the power should always be the multiple of 10. To apply that shortcut 228 can be written as 220 plus 8. Now, time to apply the shortcut here. Since this 220, that can be written as 10 into 22, which is 10 into an even number. So, last two places for this number will be 76. And as you know, 2 raised to power 8 is what? That is 256. But we are interested only in last two places. That's why we will drop 2. We will consider only 56. Again, one more time to apply the shortcut here. Now, my number is ending in 1. Now, we will take this 1 and the last place of the power. We will multiply them. We are getting 6 here. So, what are the last two places? They will be 1 and 6. I mean 61. Now, you can multiply here. 76 into 56. Now, you can apply 2 by 2 multiplication by using Vedic mathematics. You will get 56 only into 61. Again, time to apply two, 2 by 2 line multiplication. That will be 16. So that is the answer in this case. I think the concept is clear now. Now the next question. It says, find last two places of 59 raised to power 27. So let us see. The number was 59 raised to power 27. As you can see, this is not an even number. So 2 raised to power something, these shortcuts cannot be applied here. Of course, 59 cannot be made in this form. We cannot convert 59 raised to power 27 into this form, a number which is ending in 5. Again, this shortcut is not applicable here. So we are left with only one shortcut that is ending in 1. So we will try to make that. So let us see. The number was 59 raised to power 27. As we know that 9 square is 81. So by taking square of 59, we will get a number which will end in 1. So to make the square, we will write this number as 59 raised to power 1 
and 59 raised to the power 26. So it comes out to be 59. Now we are making square here. 26 can be written as 2 into 13. Now what is 59 square? See we are not interested in 59 square. Rather we want to have last two places of 59 square. Here we can apply with the maths. How to calculate squares? Now in case of 59 we will take the base of 50. What is the surplus of 59 from 50? That is 9 and we know that in the end we will write 9 square. So it comes out to be 81. Now time to apply the shortcut. Of course 1 my number will end in 1. Now we will take this 8 and this 3. We will multiply them. We are getting 24. It doesn't mean that we will write 24 here. Rather, we will take the last place of 24. I mean 4 here. So we are getting 41. Now you can apply one line multiplication. So you will get 59 into 41, which comes out to be 19. And this is the answer in this case. Let us move. Very, very easy question now. Find last two places of 75 raised to power 24. It's a very direct sum. 75 raised to power 24. What was the shortcut here? Of course, the unit place will be 5. And before 5, we have an odd number. And in the power, we have an even number. So it falls in otherwise category. So it will end in 25. And this is the answer in this case. Very easy it was. Very direct. Now come to question number 6. Find last two places of 21 raised to power 50 minus 8. So let us see. This is the question. My number is 21 raised to power 50 minus 8. Directly you can apply the shortcut here. The number is ending in 1. You will take this 2 and this 0. You will multiply them. What is 2 into 0? That is 0, 1. It means it is a huge number which is ending in 0, 1. And you want to subtract 8 out of that. Once again, see I am writing a number which is ending in 0, 1. And we want to subtract 8 out of that. That is a normal subtraction now. From 1, 8 cannot be subtracted. So we will take a carry. So it will become 9. And here we will have 11. So it comes out to be 93. And that is the answer in this case. That's it guys. I think the concept is clear now. These are some practice questions and these are the answers. So you can make a guest account on the site hitbullseye.com and you can learn many more new concepts. So thank you so much. Happy learning.